Hi, this is Web Services DFW showing you how to set up your Vocalocity After Hours um, auto attendant. And uh, as you know, we use Vocalocity for for our clients' uh, PBX uh, internet phone systems, the Voice over IP uh, phone systems. So the way to set this up is to see where your first. We have to find out where you're pointing your After Hours phones. So we have to go into your virt your virtual receptionist which takes me to your main auto attendant. We click on that. We go into our auto auto attendant screen here, which is loading. And you'll notice that we have configurable options for business hours. So we can set up your Monday through Friday time frames. It says click here to set up your after hours as you know, virtual receptionist. When you click there, it'll take you down here. And what you'll see is we have to ring a live operator for after hours uh, because for this particular company they'd like to have their after hours phone actually forward to their cell phones as opposed to a voicemail or some kind of a voicemail system so what we want to do <clears throat> is they have set up a a number of extensions here but one of them is new employee which that phone is actually not being used so uh, there's a couple of reasons why we've but what we have here is we've forwarded the calls to this extension uh, because that extension is not being used in the daytime so we use it uh, after hours to forward calls to so that gives us uh, some flexibility with with uh, how to uh, forward these calls so what we've done here is after hours the calls get forwarded to extension 303 so let's go to our extensions list to see where that's going and we go to extension 303 which we've labeled new employee and if we scroll down here to the never miss a call feature we've enabled call forwarding so the only time that this that this this is not a published number so the only time that, th that this uh, extension gets actually gets active or activated is, is when it's forward after hours so what we've done is is we've just said it when a call comes into this number or this extension forward it immediately to this and we have a drop down here and if you look here we've got the the two numbers set up for the two options uh, for after hours so all you have to do is this particular company they want to weekly uh, rotate back and forth who they forward their after hours numbers to uh, whose cell service they want to forward it to. So all you have to do is configure this to go from one to the other and then at the very bottom of this page is a save button. And I can't get the screen down that, let me see if I can get it down that low to show you that. At the bottom of this screen you have a back print cancel and save. So we've already saved this uh, feature to the new number and we are good to go. And that is how you configure your after hours numbers on this particular system.